Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. This is Viprajesh. Tata Motors has finally revealed the official name of their HBX subcompact SUV along with the front looks of the production version. This is essentially the production version of the HBX subcompact SUV showcased at the 2020 Delhi Auto Expo. And despite some visual differences on the lower part of the front bumper, the production version of the Tata Punch looks almost similar to the Tata HBX concept. Now let's get into the details of this HBX. The Tata HBX is the second official product based on Tata's new Alpha Arc platform after the Altros, which has been on testing on public roads for more than two years now. This Tata HBX or the Hornbill is claimed to be a rival for all the tall boy hatchbacks and compact SUVs, starting with the Maruti Suzuki Wagon R, the Maruti Suzuki Nexus Ignis, and even the latest 4 meter compact SUVs, the Renault Kaiga and the Nissan Magnite. Before we get into the details, let's first talk about the roots of this subcompact HBX SUV. The Tata HBX is initially based on the H2X concept showcased at the Geneva Auto Expo in the year 2019. Later in 2020, a near production version of this very same H2X concept was showcased at the Delhi Auto Expo, being renamed as the HBX concept. Despite being a near production version, the HBX retained most of the design elements seen on the H2X, including the proper squared off front fascia, sleek LED DRLs flanking the fog grille at the front, along with the actual headlamps located lower down on the front bumper. That said, unlike the Harrier and the Nexon, the HBX features an upright and squared off cabin design, along with the floating roof effect with the blacked out C-pillar and the raked rear windshield. Just like the Tata Nexon, the HBX also features the tri-arrow LED design pattern on the taillights. However, the taillights themselves have a long wraparound design, merging with the shoulder line on the sides. With the launch of the Tata HBX subcompact SUV nearing very soon, couple partially uncovered spy shots of this subcompact SUV have been leaked online, revealing the actual production car truly being almost similar to the HBX concept. Unlike the H2X and HBX, which had large beefy skid plates at the front and rear, the production version of this subcompact SUV will feature a secondary air dam along with fog lamps located on the lower end of the front bumper. Being a subcompact SUV, the HBX will also feature all-around body cladding, including dual-tone front and rear bumpers. While the HBX concept was showcased with off-road specific tires, the actual production version's top spec variants are expected to come with 16-inch dual-tone machine cut alloy wheels which have been revealed through the spy shots. Similar to the Tata Altros, the lower spec variants are expected to get 14-inch steel wheels as standard. And just like the Tata Nexon, all variants except for the entry-level variant will also get roof rails as standard. Going by the spy shots, the Tata HBX will also receive projector halogen headlamps on the top spec variants only. And yes, being based on the very same Alpha Arc platform as the Tata Altros, the HBX will also receive 90-degree fully opening doors with the rear door handles located on the C-pillar. Just like the exterior, the interior of the HBX is also going to be almost similar to the concept in terms of overall design, features and space. Just like the Nexon and the Altros, the 7-inch touchscreen will be placed at the center stage on top of the center console, which will also offer Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, voice command assist functions, reverse parking camera, an 8-speaker surround sound system from Harman, Watt 3 words and IRA connected car technology along with automatic climate control display. However, unlike the Tata Nexon, the HBX will also offer a full-color semi-digital instrument cluster similar to that seen on the Tata Altros top spec variants. And while the Tata HBX will be positioned lower to the Tata Altros, the top spec variants of this subcompact SUV will also offer cruise control, automatic headlamps, automatic wipers, keyless entry with push-button start, and automatic climate control. Despite the similar positioning of the touchscreen system, the overall dashboard design and layout is quite different to that seen on the Altros with boxy rectangular AC vents and a taller upright dashboard. However, unlike the Tata Nexon and the Altros top spec variants, the HBX will not offer a front center armrest. That said, just like the Altros, the rear seats are expected to offer adjustable headrests for two passengers on the top spec variants along with the center armrest. Due to the shorter length, the HBX may not be as spacious as the Nexon or the Altros. That said, given the fact that the HBX is wider than the Nexon, this subcompact SUV could easily accommodate three people abreast. And just like the Tata Altros and the Nexon, while the higher spec variants get the 7-inch touchscreen system, the lower spec variants except for the entry-level variant will offer a non-touchscreen Connect Next 2 in system with 4 speakers, offering Bluetooth connectivity. Being based on the same Alpha Arc platform, the HBX is also expected to offer around 300 litres of luggage space, which is more than its rivals such as the Ignis and the Mahindra KUV100. In terms of dimensions, while the Nissan Magnite has a length of 3994mm, the Tata HBX is slightly shorter at a length of 3840mm. However, the HBX is expected to be wider than the Nexon by 11mm and taller than the Nexon by 30mm. So in terms of overall size and proportions, the HBX is larger than the Maruti Suzuki Ignis while being 15cm shorter in length compared to the Nissan Magnite. Just like the Tiago and the Altros, 
The Tata HBX will also offer the very same 1.2 litre three cylinder naturally aspirated Revotron petrol engine producing 86 PS of maximum power and 130 Newton meters of maximum torque through a five speed manual transmission. The HBX has also been spotted testing with a five speed AMT gearbox similar to that seen on the Tata Tiago, which indicates that the HBX will be positioned above the Tata Tiago. In the future, it is also likely that the i-turbo engine of the Tata Altros will also be made available on the HBX, making it a more enthusiastic subcompact SUV. An official launch of this Tata Punch subcompact SUV is expected to happen by the mid of October, with deliveries expected to begin in the month of November. And when launched, the Tata Punch is likely to compete against the likes of the Maruti Suzuki Wagonar, the Maruti Suzuki Ignis, the Mahindra KUV100, and the non-turbocharged variants of the Nissan Magnite, the Renault Kaiga, the Hyundai Venue and the Kia Sonnet. Stay tuned for further updates regarding the Tata Punch subcompact SUV. Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.